हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आई टी गेट कोचिंग डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द इंस्टेंट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माई फ्री लेक्चर And now it should be divisible by three. Means you will accept now set of all string divisible by three. In previous problem it was divisible by two. So when divisible by two, we require two states. So that we have seen one state was indicating that remainder is zero, q zero. Another state was indicating that the remainder is one. Now when you divide any number by three, you know that how many remainders you require? Three remainders. So we require three states to represent that one state remainder zero, another state remainder one, another state remainder. Two, because when you divide anything by three, you are going to get three remainders: zero, two, three minus one. That is zero, one, two. So what I will do? I will create one initial state, and here also we have to assume that epsilon belongs to this line. So I have to make initial epsilon as zero. Accept. Now any number of zero if you are getting, it is divisible by three. So you will create a loop. Then if you are getting one, then it is one. In decimal, it is going to one. Divide by three, you will get remainder as one. So Q one. So till now it is one. Now if we get zero, then one zero is going to two. Divide by three, you will get remainder two. So for zero one, you have given the transition. Here zero you have given. Now if Q one will get one, if Q one will get one, then it will be one one three. See, if Q one will get here, you, how you reach Q one by getting one. Now again you will get one, like one one, one one decimal is going to your three, so it's going to divisible by three. So when you will get Q one, we get one. It will come here because it is divisible by three. Remainder is zero. So for this also you have given one zero zero one means for Q one zero transition. For one also you have given the term. Q two reach by getting one zero and one zero is equal to two. Now if you, if I will give zero. If I give zero, so it's two into two plus zero. That is four. That's why I have teach you conversion of binary into decimal. In this example, in this way, it will help. So it will be four plus zero. It's going to four only. So four divisible by three, you are going to get remainder as one. So by getting zero, it should come here because remainder is one. This state is indicating that remainder is one. Now one zero one. Now it, you know that it is five. So if you divide by three, you will get two as the remainder. Which state is indicating that two is the remainder? Q two only. So by by getting one, you will be there. Now see, for only taking till five, I have taken and I have constructed this. See, for every state, I have given the transition. If for till this, if it, if it will satisfy, then for other numbers also it will satisfy. Now take some other numbers and test it, or you can check it like one zero one. So it is five. Then five into two plus one. That is ten plus one eleven. So its decimal equivalent is eleven. So if we divide by three, you will get remainder as two. So it should reach. It should be in Q two state. One here, then zero here, then one one. See there only. So because remainder is two. Now I will take four one. So you know that it is how much? Three. Then three into two plus one. Seven seven into two plus one for this fourteen plus one fifteen divided. It means it should be divisible. It should be divisible by three. Remainder should be zero. So one 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 one. See, it's coming to Q zero. See fifteen one one then one one. Okay, so all the numbers that is divisible by three, it's coming to Q zero because it's it's remainder should be zero. Now this is a way you can do, and there is a shortcut here. How the shortcut if I will construct, you know that this is a transistor diagram. You know how to write a transistor table. If you can represent, this is a delta only. You can represent both by using transistor diagram as well as transistor table. What you will do, you will write these states in Q zero Q one Q two. You know, you know that in that way here we will write these states Q zero Q one Q two. Now write the input alphabet zero one. Now. This is the initial state, so I have final state is this. Now Q zero by getting zero is going Q zero. Now Q zero by getting one is going Q one. 
Now Q1 by getting 0 is going Q2. Now Q1 by getting 1, it's going Q0. Now Q2 and getting 0, see, Q2 and getting 0, it's going Q1. And Q1 and getting 1, it's going Q2. So this is the transition table. Okay, so here we write this state. And here we write the symbols, input symbols. And by getting that state, by getting input where it is going, that we are going to write. This is that I am explaining. Now, if you see the transition table for this transition diagram, here you will find the shortcut. See, here I am writing the states in increasing order of their remainder. Q0, Q1, Q2. This is state remainder 0, 1, 2. Now, symbols that this sigma of any number system, it's, I am writing 0 to n minus 1. See, it's a binary number, so it is going to have base 2 and symbols it's going to 0 to n minus n is here 1. So, 0 then 1. Okay, if I if have base 3, then it will be 0, then 1, then 2. So, here it will be 0, 1, 2. So, here I am writing these symbols 0, 1, 2. Then, see, in this way, 0, 1, Q0, Q1, Q2, that same way I will I am writing here. See, Q0, Q1, Q2. Then again, Q0, Q1, Q2. Top to right, left to right, top to down. Okay, Q0, Q1, Q2, left to right, then top to down. Q0, Q1, Q2, like this. And this shortcut is applicable. When it is divisible, for if I am asking divisor by odd number, like 3, if I make for 5, if I make for 5 here, like divisor by 5, okay, so no need to construct in such a descriptive way, okay, just what you have to do, if I am just changing the question here, to just construct a transition table, if you know that, if, if you are going to divide any number system by 5, you are going to get 5 straight, and that, one state will indicate remainder 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you, you should write the remainders, means states in increasing order of their remainder. So, Q0, then Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So, increasing order, your initial state is always going to Q0. And since it should be divisor by 5, so remainder, if when you are getting remainder 0, then only it should be divisor by 5. So, you need to make this state as final state. Now, number system. You have to write 0, 2, 0, then 1. Now, in this way, I have written 0, 1, 2, 3, Q0, Q1. In this way only, I will write left to right, top to down. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Then Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Done. See? And if you are doing correctly, Q0 will be in the beginning. And the last, highest remainder will be at the last, say Q4. Say Q0 in the beginning, highest remainder at the last. Okay. So, this way, if you are having, if, you, if I am asking that binary number should be divisible by 5, odd number if I take, like 5 I have taken, if 7 I have taken, then 7 states. But 4, if I take even number, then that logic will not apply. If I say that divisible by 4, then it is not going to give a minimal DF. In this kind of questions, by using that shortcut method, it is going to give you a Minimal number of DFA. For if I will take binary number, and if you do like 4, if I will make here 4, then you will get a DFA. This is going to be a DFA. For by using shortcut, you will get a DFA, but that is not going to be a minimal in case of binary number. Okay. But in case of odd number, if this shortcut method always going to give a DFA. Okay. So for binary numbers, we will see how to construct for this kind of questions. We are having some shortcut also there. Okay. I will I will show you. This shortcut procedure I have written for you so that you can write in your notebook. In order to construct transition table for any such question, divisible by odd number. See, this is even uh, correct if it is for even number, but that procedure is not going to give a minimal DFA. Okay, but in gate exam, we only want minimal DFA. Okay, so that's why I have written that for odd number, it is going to give you a minimal number. We just write the number of state in row of the state transition table in increasing order of the remainder. In increasing order of the remainder, like if it is having n number, means number, I am assuming that n is the number, then remainder you are going to get q0 to qn minus 1. So first I will write q0, then q1, q2, q3 like this. So if it is divisible by n, then it contains n state. So it is going to contain n state q0, q1, q till n minus 1. And, and in column, we will write the symbols from 0 to b minus 1. b is the base. If base is 2, then 2 minus 1, 0 to 1. If base is 3, then 0, 1, 2. Okay. 
Now follow the sequence from Q0 to QN minus 1 in the transition diagram. This transition table Q0, Q1, Q2 like this. From left to right and top to down and repeat. Okay. So if it is correct, initially you will get in Q0 remainder 0 and at last maximum 